Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stackland Studio experience. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the top 5 free tools you need as a creator, small or large. Do you need a new domain or just something different? Something better than the competition? Do you need a company that will be there almost 24-7, except for holidays sometimes? Depends on if they want to work that day. But if you want no frills and no excitement and, well, nothing being shoved down your throat whenever you don't want it, then Namecheap is probably for you. Namecheap, they never try to upsell you when you only want one product and they have sometimes great customer support. Name cheap. It's just okay. So we already talked about the best tools of the trade for starting out on YouTube. If you haven't watched those videos, I highly recommend you check them out. If you would like to watch the whole playlist, it will be linked in the card above this video. Some of the tools that I will be talking about in this video have been on the list before, and I'm sure that you've heard of almost half of them. I have the official links to all of them in the description below. Let's start with the most obvious, Audacity. Yes, yes, I know, you've heard this a million times, but honestly, I've seen hundreds of creators use it still today. I have to warn you, however, that with Windows 10 post-anniversary update, USB microphones are acting very strange, and I highly recommend a microphone that you can use with your audio port rather than the USB port because of this issue. Microsoft has been notified of the issue, and they simply refuse to fix it as of this recording. Audacity is a small and powerful audio editing tool. It has several built-in plugins automatically, and it doesn't take long to get used to. You can usually make an OK recording go to awesome so long as you have this little tool in your back pocket. Epoxy. Holy crap this thing has saved my bacon so many times. With the new notification system on YouTube, I hardly know when someone makes a comment on my videos. However, with Epoxy, I know instantly and can reply straight from the app to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. It's a creator's masterpiece, and it's commonly included with most major networks. If you haven't signed up with a network already, be sure to check out the link in the video description to sign up with Scalelab, my personal partner network that I have been partnered with now for two years. Epoxy is easy and pretty, thus how it got number four. Paint.net is the tool that I use to edit all of my thumbnails. While it hasn't changed much, and frankly it doesn't need to, it's still pretty powerful. From the website, they describe it as a beefier version of Microsoft Paint, in which I have to agree. It has all of the tools that you need to create the best thumbnails for free on your desktop, save as a JPEG with layers and transparency, and never leave your audience guessing what your video is about again with Paint.net. Rapid Tags is by far the most useful system I have ever used as a creator. I love the simplicity of the interface. However, I do wish that you could save commonly used tags to always be added. For example, your channel name. Other than a few gripes here and there when the system doesn't have any clue what you typed in and you have to re-roll the tags, or when it spits out tags that are way too long for YouTube's algorithm, it works great. Rapid Tags offers the ability to put in your video's title and then have it spit out all of the tags you need for your video. It's great, rapid, and wonderful. Thus why it comes in at number two. Do I Have the Rights is a new site from the Ohio Eye Project Network, my personal company. It's a large database of commonly requested companies and games that people frequently ask if they have the rights to post their videos and content for. And you can create an account in seconds and it's completely free and updated nearly every day. 
Recommend and ask for sites and we'll add them for you with no problem. Find out if you have the right today with do I have the rights. So those are the top five that I personally recommend. What do you use? Do you use these? Meet me down in the comments to talk about it, as I would love to hear your input. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll speak with you all in the next one.